What's up guys, it's Coach G here. I just wanted to share a few thoughts on progression of programming. Um, and in CrossFit world, uh, programming is a really big conversation because programming is one of those things that you know directly determines a person's results. And um, it often reflects the level of understanding, the mindset, the sophistication of the programmer. In CrossFit worlds, like there are so many different cool things that we can do. And um, it's interestingly how it's reflected in a person's programming. So here is the progression that I see amongst people writing CrossFit programming. This is just me kind of like sharing some thoughts, some muses as I go along. Thanks for joining me in my car here, guys. Well, my truck, really. I'm almost home, but I wanted to share some thoughts on this. So here's the progression that I see amongst programmers. As I go into this conversation, um, just a little bit of background about me for you guys if you don't really know me and my story. Uh, I started doing CrossFit about 10 years ago. And uh, back when I started doing CrossFit, there were very, very few boxes for options in the St. Louis metro area. And none of them were close to where I was really. So I mostly had to figure out the CrossFit thing on my own. Every once in a while, I get the, you know, the opportunity, the holiday, <laughs> the, the self-indulgence to travel far from where I was to drop it at a CrossFit gym. And it's you know, always super exciting for me to be able to go into a real CrossFit gym and do real workouts that were really written by professional people. Um, <laughs> It's, it's kind of funny looking back now, like um, how how much things have changed since then. Since now I do workouts in a box, like basically every single day of my life, uh, except for Sundays. In case of Sunday, but uh, so thought <laughs> on the progression of programming. Um, it's been doing CrossFit for about ten years, and since I had to start on my own, I was writing my own programming also. And I saw the exact same progression in myself that I see in so many others. So um, I learned to recognize this pattern. And uh, now that I've you know become more sophisticated as a programmer, because now I've you know I've seen so much more stuff and I've learned so much more. And as you go along, you develop skill and and, and proficiency in your craft. Anyway, so here's a. Now that I have some perspective, here's what I see with people writing programming. So when people are new to CrossFit, if they write any programming for themselves, like if this is like they're brand new to CrossFit, if they write, if they write any programming for themselves, it's usually like pretty simple stuff since they don't really know a lot of movements yet. Like people will typically become like enamored with power cleans and so, because it's like, it's, it's relatively simple, but it's an exciting new frontier with a barbell. And so a lot of people are like brand new. I'll see them adopt like some simple workouts in like couplet format with power cleans and running, or it's deadlifts and shoulder to overhead, something like that. You know, they, they really love those workouts where they can take like that one or two, you know, things that they really love to do, their favorite stuff, whatever that is. You know, pull-ups and front squats or whatever. And they'll make their workouts that center around a couple of key things that they really love to do, things that are most exciting for them, which often parallels what they're good at. So people that are light body weight ninjas will program workouts where there's you know two or three elements and those two or three elements are primarily body weight stuff where they practice their muscle ups because that's the cool thing that they can do now. Or um, if they're you know power lifting uh, you know, Titans, they'll have heavy ass deadlifts paired with, you know, kettlebell swings or something like that, right? Um, when people are new to CrossFit and they're programming their own workouts, when people hit like, you know, I'd say like, you know, six to 12 months of CrossFit experience, if they're writing their own programming, 
or if they're you know newly introduced the opportunity to write programming we see a very different experience we see extraordinary levels of complexity typically i'd say the number one most common type of workout programmed by somebody who's like intermediate level in crossfit is the chipper workouts where there's like 10 different exercises and there's a kettlebell thing and there's a barbell thing and there's like a monostructural thing and there's a you know a, a barbell thing there's a you know a, a gymnastics thing there's like it's a chipper where all of the exercises are thrown into the into an alphabet soup of um of complexity and um I, you know, I feel like when people are brand new to CrossFit, the reason they write this simpler workouts is because they only really know a couple of things. They only have like, you know, comfort level with a couple of pieces at a time. And so their programming is simple because that's the stuff that they feel comfortable doing. When people get to intermediate level, they then have a basic level of understanding with a ton of different movements. And they really seem to like jump like head first into the let's do all of the things mentality the all of the things mindset which is you know it's fun to dig into all the possibilities of fitness and it's super fun to to, to experience all the different things that can make you a fitter person but in a sense it's sort of like a, a lack of uh, discipline or <clears throat> sophistication with their programming because more is not always better. In fact, most of the time, more is less productive, less meaningful, and less valuable. So it's the intermediate level of CrossFitters where I typically see programming having the greatest levels of ADD, the least levels of focus, intentionality, and discipline. Like there's a, a common criticism of CrossFit that I think has, uh, it's, I think like a pretty valid, pretty legitimate criticism, which is that, you know, we're really trying to do too much not well. <laughs> we're trying to do a thousand things at a mediocre level across the board, right? And I think that the intermediate level of CrossFit are writing programming is probably where we see that come to fruition at the highest level. Like we're gonna do 15 exercises today, or we're gonna do four different little workouts today, each of which have three elements. And some of them are AMRAPs, and some of them are four time workouts. The intermediate level CrossFitter, I often feel loses sight of the core tenet of CrossFit that it's not about the volume and don't be impressed by volume, be impressed by intensity. And when you have 13 exercises in your you know, 90 minute workout program, or if you have four mini workouts in your workout program, what that probably means is not that you've become extremely great at all those things, it probably means that you have an ADD and a lack of intentional purpose for that training session. You don't have a defined outcome for that training session besides getting in there and running from one drill to the next drill to the next drill um, in sort of a haphazard, um, unstructured way. It does not help to move away from having an intensity focus to a do everything focus. And if, you ha if you're going into a training session and you have three or four different segments to your programming, either one, you better be a competitive CrossFitter. Like it needs to be your job to be good at CrossFit. Either that's what's going on or number two, you are falling prey to CrossFit ADD. There's no chance that you have a defined purpose for this training session. In this training session, are you trying to improve your cardiorespiratory endurance? Are you trying to improve your speed and power output? Is it that you're trying to improve your posterior chain strength? If you are the intermediate little crossfitter who is doing way too much in a training session, you're not actually advancing your fitness. Now there is definitely a time and a place 
for doing longer training sessions, but a longer training session is not the same thing as doing 19 exercises. Those are different things. You can have the stimulus of, you know, I just want to get in there and I want to really sweat it out for an hour. That's cool. I respect that. There's a lot of value in doing those long suffer fests, physically and mentally, psychologically. A lot of value there. Just note that having a long duration cardiovascular endurance or muscular stamina stimulus does not have to come through 10 inputs. It could happen through one or two inputs. Now, all of that to say that the most sophisticated, the most advanced, the most intelligent programmers that I see in CrossFit world or otherwise, they simplify things down. Advanced, high level CrossFit programmers are the ones that will give you two, maybe three things in a training session to chew on and really digest effectively. And you'll hammer on those two or three things and you'll do them very, very well. A great coach does not need 10 different things to teach you in one session because excellence does not come through trying to do 10 different things at once. Excellence comes from doing one, maybe two things with a very high level of excellence and just holding your craft on those things for this time in this training session. As Bruce Lee said, you do not achieve more with less. The highest levels of sophistication come from simplicity, not complexity. The more time it takes to explain today's training program, chances are the lower quality it is. More is not always better. Um, greatness is not achieved through adding more. Greatness is not achieved through adding until you can't add anymore. Greatest is achieved when there's nothing more to take away. Keep these things in mind on programming. The height of sophistication in programming, the height of advancement, is moving towards simplicity, not complexity. Just a thought for you guys on programming. Go out there, program something simple, hammer on it, make it intense, make it excellent, and see how your results improve. Talk to you guys soon.